Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, facial aesthetic rejuvenation program we have today. This is actually the first webinar we've ever done for this kind of um, new program that we have. So we're actually really excited to bring this to you guys. We have a full um, webinar for you. We actually have a full attending list as well. So one of our most highly attended webinars we've had in the last two weeks. So this is really cool. We're actually really excited about it. We're just gonna spend a couple of minutes, just get some homework stuff based out of the way. Now you see a video on your screen. I see a couple of you guys are actually on the phone line. We do have videos, we do have a lot of diagrams because we're going to talk, be talking about the different ways and different sweeping motions to actually treat the face, head, and neck. So if you don't have a visual, try to get on the laptop or download the Click Meeting app so you can see what we're actually talking about. In the waiting room, you might, might have watched this video that we have in front of you right now. You can see the M2T blade against our patient's face here. So we'll be doing a lot of videos. So if you can, if you're the only way you can attend this webinar, um, is via the call-in number, that's okay. We will be sending out this recording after it as well. Second thing is, like I just said, we are recording this webinar, so if there is anything that you might have missed, we will be emailing it out to you directly from ClickMeeting. So if you do not receive it with about three to four hours after this webinar, just shoot us an email, you can email Anton, it's anton at m2tblade.com and he can get that, that webinar for you as well. Third and final thing before we get into this webinar, we'll spend about 45 minutes to an hour with each other. There is a ton of information we have in this um, that I want to go over because there's some really great info. It's all natural, all um, instrument-based work to help firm up the face and improve a lot of conditions that we are seeing out there right now. So we do have a specific tool. Now this is actually, if you have our blade right now, you can still use this. It's just a little bit awkward because the blade is a little bit longer for the face. So you can see in the picture of our patient, we have a smaller um, blade. In the chat box, we have a link that you can go and check out. With that, you get the smaller aesthetic rejuvenation tool, you get a book, and you get um, a little course with that as well, the how to actually use it. So you can either click the link in the chat box, or over top of my PowerPoint, you can actually see a green bar with a red little box where it says coupon code FACE. So you get 10% off, so at checkout, write the word FACE, and it gives you an additional 10% off just for attending this webinar. So it's really cool. Saves you about 30 bucks. Um, the kit is usually $2.99 Canadian. Um, ships out of Hamilton, Ontario here. Um, we're doing it for $2.49, then an additional 10% off. So it's about $24. And it brings it down to about $220 shipping everything based into it. So let's get started. There's still people rolling on. So if you can, if you can jump on this webinar. If you download the app or you can view on a laptop, that's the best thing we do talk a lot, we have a lot of diagrams, a lot of stuff that's great um, to actually have a visual based on just um, not listening to my great voice. So let me introduce yourself, my name is Adam, I'm one of the education directors here at the M2T Blade. Um, Leth is on this webinar as well, so she's actually gonna be moderating the comments. Leth wrote this entire program. She started teaching this program based in Manila, Singapore, and Bangkok, Thailand. We're bringing this over to Toronto, Ontario, uh, I believe in April, 2020. We've done really well with this program out that way because it's all natural, not puncturing the skin. And you can also do this to yourself as well. So we've been doing really well. So again, if you have any questions or stuff you want to ask, throw it in the chat box and Lynette will be actually moderating this webinar as we're going through it. So again, there is a lot of people on this webinar. I do apologize if I don't get to your specific question, but Lynette will be moderating that chat box. If you have a specific question, throw it in there and we'll get to it. At the end of the webinar as well, I'll be answering any questions. If there's something that either myself or Lynette has missed, feel free to bring it up at the end of it. There is one question that we have there is will you be sending a recording of this webinar? We will be sending a recording. It takes sometimes quick meeting three to four hours to, I'm not a technical guy, so it takes about three to four hours to um, compose it or put it together and put it in a nice form so they can email it to you. So you will be getting a recording three to four hours after this webinar. Let's get into it. So again, like I talked about, this is the Aesthetic Rejuvenation Series. Again, we still use the M2T blade. It's a small little blade. If you want to take a full look at how the blade actually is, there's a link in the chat box, or you can look up on the above. You can actually, it's Luna's face right there. You can click on that link, use the coupon code FACE, and it takes an additional 10% off that program as well. So again, this has been developed about three or four years ago. Actually, in uh, Manila, we've taught this course in Manila. Bangkok and Singapore, and we're bringing it over into Toronto. I believe a couple of courses in um, the States as well. 
We've had a great success. We're actually really excited about this webinar. We have a full base webinar on this today. Um, again, yeah, we are, if you guys have a couple questions, if you can, this is gonna be all PowerPoint videos and diagrams. If you can, my voice, I know it's a great sounding voice, but you get more out of this webinar if you actually can view the, the slides that we're going through today. So a little bit of introduction. So more than 2000 years of history back to the Ming Dynasty when they used jade soil to scrape the skin all over the body to treat diseases. This meth techniques and instruments are based on traditional Chinese medicine, what we call gua sha. So we talk a lot about instrument-based stuff. So instruments, we use a surgical grade stainless steel. In the next couple slides, we'll actually talk a little bit about why um, this tool is different than using a jade stone or a plastic tool or an acrylic-based tool. So this modality is used across Asia, both in clinical and home settings. Now, the one cool thing that I really like about this product is that you can use it on yourself as well. Um, I use it on myself all the time. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but again, you don't just need to use it to patients. We have a lot of customers that buy our aesthetic rejuvenation kit. They get the, the smaller aesthetic blade, they get the book. As long as you can see how to actually use um, the strokes upon the skin, you can apply it to yourself. And again, in this webinar, we will actually be showing you diagrams of the different strokes of how to apply it to your face. So again, if you're not interested in bringing this into your clinical setting and you just wanna have a tighter term of face, um, get rid of some congestion, some sinus issues. This is really good to use on yourself as well. Now, some people really view gua sha as a folk medicine. Western side of study done by Harvard University and the University of um, Dunsbury Essen in Germany have shown that gua sha shows significant improvements in decreasing pain and increasing micular circulation. Now, one cool thing about this webinar that we're doing a little bit differently now, we run webinars every week. Our next webinar is gonna be based on canines and how to treat dogs. At the very end of this webinar, we'll actually show you all the research that we have. So everything in this webinar is research back. We would like to have a lot of base research and a lot of clinical reasoning about what we're talking about. So if you want to stick around, we will be having a full slide that quotes all of our research based on what we're talking about today. So similar to the body guan sha, the guan sha facial application stimulates circulation and detoxification while relaxing tense muscles that can cause wrinkles and form. So what we're doing when we apply this to the face, like I said, we use a smaller blade. We're gonna stimulate blood circulation, which brings all that new circulation and blood flow into the area, which includes oxygen. Brings out the bad stuff that may be sitting there um, while relaxing tense muscles, which cause wrinkles to form. So research has shown that gua sha causes a fourfold increase in microcirculation of the surface tissue. Here's a study quoted here. At the very end of this webinar, we have everything listed where you can actually source this out and go and see um, what we're talking about in a little bit further in-depth motion. And can reduce inflammation and stimulate the immune system. Gua sha regulates hemooxygenase 1, which is HO1, that acts to reduce internal organ inflammation. For example, in cases of asthma, hepatitis, and liver disease. The M2T blade, if you haven't done one of our webinars before, it stands for Myofascial Mobility Tool. When we started developing this about eight years ago, it actually looked like a little bit of a blade as it looks like in that picture that you may see in some of our marketing. So our whole goal is to create mobility within the myofascial system, relax muscles, and improve more blood flow. We're going to make it the fastest growing instrument tool trusted by practitioners in over 30 countries worldwide to release the first ISM fascial tool. So we're the actual first one to talk about a little bit about this fascial tool. In this course, if you already, or in this webinar, I should say, you should, if you already have one of our instruments, you can use this techniques we'll teach you today and apply it immediately as we're doing this product or as we're doing this talk. So all in all, your face has about 30, 43 muscles in it. All the muscles are used for things like chewing, talking, facial expressions, and seeing. So key points, what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to look, I'm not gonna spend too much time about the anatomy of the facial muscles. We'll kind of skim over it today. I wanna to really get in towards, like I call on base in Canada, so the meat and potatoes. We'll talk a little bit about the lymphatic drainage of the face and neck facial instrument assist and soft tissue mobilization, the health and aesthetic benefits of aesthetic rejuvenation tool, so how it actually helps us, and sinus drainage using the aesthetic rejuvenation tool. Like we're kind of experiencing now, there's a lot of um, flu and congestion all stuff going on, so this really helps kind of clear the sinuses and helps relieve migraines and headaches and muscle tension and all that kind of stuff in the face. So the anatomy of the facial muscles. So the facial muscles can broadly be split into three groups, which is the orbital, nasal, and oral. 
These muscles perform many important tasks, including movement of the head and neck, chewing, swallowing, speech, facial expressions, and movement of the eyes. These are unique among groups of muscles in the body, mainly they are only group muscles that are inserted into the skin. <coughs> These muscles of the facial expression are located in layers of superficial fascia of the face and the scalp. Originating from bone or fascia and inserting onto the skin by contracting these muscles move the skin, not a joint, and exert their effects. They are thin and variable in shape. They give us an ability to communicate emotions without words such as joy, surprise, anger, worry, fear, and disgust. These muscles are also called mimetic muscles. So we're just going to go over top of these facial muscles here. Again, um, if you want to spend more time, if you take one of our courses, we spend about three or four hours actually going through the muscles of the face and how they actually work. So muscle of the facial expressions include eyelids and orbital muscles, lips, mouth, and cheeks, nose, nostrils, scalps, and the penis. So muscle of the scalp, so the frontal part of the occipital frontalis muscle, you can see here actually has a nice little line that throws up. <coughs> then we go levator angular oris muscle. <coughs> the presser labia inferior muscle, oblique line of the mandible going from the skin of the lower lip and draws the lower lip downwards. And the busier muscle <coughs> and the master muscle you can see here as well, which is a lot of the moving of the of the face engine. <coughs> and the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is a very important muscle when we're working on any of our face and neck as well. And you can see here the outline of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So limp. So we're going to talk, spend a little bit more time on limp. Everybody in here, I believe, is physical therapist, chiropractors, massage therapists. Um, doctors, so I don't spend too much time on that. Let's go more about the lymph. So lymph vessels are two shaped just like blood vessels, which are about five to 600 lymph nodes in an adult attached. There are two circular systems in the human body which are tied to works, which are tied to works there to return fluids to the blood, the lymphatic system, and the cardiovascular system. They filter for harmful substances. <clears throat> they contain immune cells that can help fight infection by attacking and destroying germs that are carried throughout the entire body. So here's a great picture of the immune and lymphatic system of the head and neck. So like we talked about before, there's almost 200 lymph nodes and are situated in the head and neck. So we want to talk a lot about moving that fluid across the head. If someone experienced like one of your patients or yourself, a lot of congestion, sinusitis, headaches, we want to get that lymph moving to help speed up the recovery and make them feel better. So immune of the lymphatic system of the head and neck. So the immune and lymphatic system of the head and neck includes the tonsils, several sets of lymph nodes, countless lymphatic vessels, and red bone marrow. All these structures work together to drain, filter, and cleanse the interstitial fluids of the head and neck and destroy harmful pathogens that may affect this region. So lymphatic drain of the face and neck is carried out through a group of lymph nodes and nodes of the face and the neck are into two groups. We have our superficial lymph nodes and we have our deep lymph nodes. All these we're going to work on with our different strokes that we'll talk about further into our slides. So lymphatic drainage of the face and neck occurs as the scalp and ear are drained into the occipital, pyroid, and mastoid and superficial cervica, cervical lymph nodes. The eyelids and posterior part of the face drain into the peritoneal lymph nodes and the interior part of the cheeks and external nose drain into the submandibular nodes. <clears throat> so with our Recycle for Juvenation series, we're actually working on the lymphatic, so we're working on the muscles of the of the face and neck. So like we talked about, all the muscles of the face, they attach into the skin that can cause wrinkles and show a lot of that aging and wear and tear across our face. We're also going to talk a lot about our lymphatics as well. So the health benefits of facial ISTM is the facial ISTM healing technique brings a lot of health benefits to the body and helps treating the following acute illnesses. So we're not talking about facial features right now. We're talking about illnesses. Then we'll talk about how we're actually a static version of it. So what we're going to work on is a flu or common cold migraines, headaches, and earaches, wheezing, bronchitis, and allergies, asthma, neck pain, and back pain. 
So how it's actually achieved, so skin scraping with our pressured strokes brings enhanced blood flow circulation and lymphatic drainage, release of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory mediators, suppression of pain, inflammation, and allergens. So the aesthetic benefits, so we talked about the illnesses, now the aesthetic benefits of using a tool such as our small uh, entity blade. So like its health benefits, facial ISM technique is also considered popular for its aesthetic and beauty enhancing benefits. A lot of practitioners will want to go for the aesthetic way. If you watched your video in the waiting room at the very prior beginning of this webinar, you would have watched as Lyneth goes through and use, does all the sweeping and scanning strokes across the face to help firm up the face. So when we apply this tool to the face, we look at acne control, unclogging of pores, improve complexion, radiant skin by bringing that blood flow to the area, removal of wrinkles, lines, and age spots, reduction in dark circles and puffy eyes, skin tightening, lifting, and cellulite removal. So how we actually achieve this effect. So at the very top, we start off with our skin scraping. So we use our tool and our, the appropriate strokes, what we'll talk about in the next couple slides, and we'll scrape or apply pressure through the tool onto our skin. While we do this, we're gonna stimulate deeper skin scales and we're actually activate the collagen to firm up. We're also gonna improve the blood flow, decrease lymphatic drainage. If you go over to our left side here, so the stimulation of deeper skin cells and our collagen activation, it's gonna improve radiant skin, improve complexion, and even help tone the skin because we're creating that more, um, that more dense collagen. If you go to our right, we're gonna improve the blood flow and increase lymphatic drainage. We're gonna diminish facial and eye puffiness and slimmer facial appearance. <clears throat> then we're also gonna improve with our anatomy as well. We actually create better flow of our sinuses and help relieve a lot of pressure through our sinuses as well. As you can tell, I got a little bit of sinus myself, so I may have to do this after we're done with this webinar. So what are the purpose of sinuses and why we actually want to create better flow through our sinuses? So sinuses are air-filled cavities in the skull. They have two major purposes that we may not be aware of, to keep the skull light-weighted and humidification of inhaled air. They drain into the nose through small opening blockages in the openings for the swelling due to colds, flu, or allergies made to lead to acute sinus infections. The main symptoms of sinus are runny or stuffy nose and pain and pressure in your head and face. Where you feel pain tenderness depends on which sinus is infected. If we go back to our sinus dam, you can see the four major sinuses through here. Two above your eyes, right above your nasal cavity, and right below your nose here as well. So how do they actually get blocked? So what creates that sinusitis and how those sinuses get blocked? It could be from cold, allergies, or infections, inflammation of the sinuses, which is increased mucus, swelling and mucosal lining, and stasis of the secretion, blockages of the sinuses. How we can drain the sinuses using facial ISTM. So gently scraping over the sinus areas, enhance the blood flow, fights inflammation, reduce swelling, and blockages relieve improved sinus draining. It's gonna accelerate lymphatic drainage, detoxify, and clears away those toxins. Manual lymphatic drainage therapy of the face and neck. So I sort of go gentle scraping of facial muscles and pressure over sinuses. On the left, I have the improved lymphatic drainage and increased blood circulation. So toxins clearing and swelling congestion reduces inflammation and suppression. Reverse facial and eye puffiness, healthy skin, relieves from sinus congestion, relieves from cold, flu, allergen, and headaches. So let's talk about our strokes here as well. So we'll go right into the strokes of how to actually perform the techniques. Now, if you, you have one of our MCD blades, which is a little bit of a large one, you can still perform this technique. You just may be, have to be a little more aware of what's actually happening um, with your tool. You don't want to cause any going close to the eyes or anything like that. So how to perform facial ISTM using the aesthetic rejuvenation tool. So like we talked about in our chat box, you can actually click on that link to purchase the tool, you get the 10% off, use the coupon code FACE and it knocks off an additional 10%. So step one, we're actually gonna start off on the next one, look at elbows and fatics across the neck. We're always gonna scrape up towards the chin. So when we're using our tool, 
the smaller tool and start scraping up towards step one, scrape up towards the chin. Step two, you want to scrape from the lower jaw towards the earlobe. Like we talked about, there's a lot of those lymphatics that sit behind the ear. So I'm going to push all that lymph drainage and everything that may be stuck in the face and move it up towards that earlobe. Step three is you want to scrape the chin towards the earlobe. So we're going to go more up into the front surface of the earlobe. Step number four is scrape from the outer corner of the lips towards the ear. Step five, you want to scrape all the way from the nostril, from the fleshy tip of the nose, up into the temple, in between the ear and the lateral portion of the eye. Then we go step six, we're going to repeat step two to five towards the right. So we'll start with the right and go to the left. Number seven is scrape around the nose to the bridge. We're going to move everything right up between the middle bridge part of the nose, up and towards the bridge of the nose. Then we'll go up into the forehead. So starting from medial to lateral, so from the inside to the outside, start going up and moving on our way to the outside of, it, <coughs> of the head. <clears throat> so a little bit about the tool. Here's a picture of the aesthetic rejuvenation tool. If you have our M2T blade, you know, so there's a it's about two inches smaller. This is to help with those facial contexts of the actual tool. It helps you get into those small little edges around the tool that may not be possible with a larger one. And here we have the technical specification. So like we talked about, so if you look at our other webinars, the original blade has a 35 and 55 degree edge. With our small aesthetic rejuvenation tool, we got rid of the 55 degree edge and we just stick with our superficial edge. There's no reason to apply deeper pressure with the actual tool. The weight is around 190 grams and still has our eight treatment services and we have 12 hand positions. With this tool as well, it's a lot lighter and we only suggest, so if you use our original MTD blade tool, we save about four to six pounds of pressure to apply through the tool. With our aesthetic rejuvenation tool, you only need about one to two pounds of pressure. It needs to be very light as lymphatic stays very superficial. Like we talked about in our anatomical portion of this webinar as well, all the muscles attached to the skin. So we actually don't need to get too deep into the tissue to make any kind of change to the, to the tissue. So we're looking at more of the of the rise of the aesthetic technology. After sort of research and study, the MC Blade releases aesthetic rejuvenation tool for skincare face treatment, which have therapeutic values and benefits, such as attains brighter, radiant, healthy skin, regains skin elasticity, increases collagen production, irons out the fascia lines and wrinkles, clearing clogged pores, controls acne and pimples, detoxifies skin, reduces that double chin effect, enhances the absorption ability for skin and makeup products, uplifts sagging skin to become firmer. So we looked at those nine steps of actually how to apply the tool to the skin. If you want a great visual, we do have a nice little YouTube video as well that we can sh plug in to. It's about nine minutes long. If you sat in our waiting room before this webinar started, you would have saw it as well. So then I have to just place it into, the, into that chat box too, so you can actually see step by step how this is integrated to massage or chiropractic treatment using those nine steps of the aesthetic rejuvenation tool. Let's go now into the rigs. So we talked about the anatomical point of view. We talked about liver and lymphatic. Now about we can use this tool to help improve wrinkles. So here are the nine most common facial wrinkles that we see, whether you're in Canada, the US States, or Asia. So the common type of facial wrinkles are foie lines, frown lines, crow feet, tear troughs, body lines, nasal labial folds, mid lines, mental crease, and your neck lines. Now, one thing we talk about, whether it's in our facial rejuvenation webinar or in our normal webinar, is our facial fitness. We never want to finish off a treatment procedure, a technique, and leave it there. We always want to finish that treatment with proper fitness, and that means proper exercise. So working out isn't just for your body. So gravity inch can also stretch and loosen cheek and chin muscles, resulting in jowls to the jaw and neck. Dieting with exercise routine may not affect the pads in your cheeks and face. Facial muscles have to be isolated, targeting exercise for toning and slimming, just as you do with other muscles of your body. So we're not going to go through it today. This is not really what this webinar is about, but we actually have a protocol. If you purchase that aesthetic rejuvenation kit, 
we actually have a, a series of exercises that Lynette takes you through step by step and shows you how to do those proper exercises to help firm your face. Like we talked about with any of our other instrument work as well, whenever you want to improve blood flow and strengthen the muscles and strengthen the collagen, we need to reinforce that technique with proper exercise. <clears throat> so exercising the facial neck muscles is the best way to prevent or treat turkey waddle turkey neck. This is the best at home exercise and tighten up your turkey neck. So again, we're looking at different kind of exercise that will give you this program to actually do at home. So that's the end of our webinar we have today. Again, we really suggest if you don't have our smaller tool, you can pick it up and get the next additional 10% off. Above our webinar here, we actually have a green box. You can see it says coupon code FACE. Once you click on that link, use the coupon code FACE at checkout, and it's going to take that 10% off. If you have any questions, email Lynette at mctblade.com and she can answer all those questions. If you want to look at more of the exercises based stuff we have, we have different kind of sheets that we can take you through to help improve all those different kind of conditions of each that you may be experiencing. So we do have a couple of questions here. So again, we have about five, 10 minutes left here. If you do have any questions, you may put them in the box, and either myself or Lynette can answer them as well. So we have a question here. So how long is the timing of treatment and how long is per session? Or how many sessions can you do up um, per week? And are there any side effects? So Lynette is actually going to take this question to the left, wrote this um, course content. So Lynette, uh, you can do 30 minute face treatment, so it can take up to 30 minutes. I myself, from per as Lynette's still typing here, personally, I do about 10 minutes on my face, especially so I live in Hamilton, Ontario. We usually have pretty bad weather between negative 15 and 20 degrees, so I get really stuffed. I think even, even here now, I have really bad allergies, and I use it to help really improve the science congestion of my face. That Those nine strokes that we talked about before, we actually, I do that myself. I sit there and I look in the mirror. I almost have it down that I don't even need to look at my face to help improve my circulation, improve my blood flow, and it helps actually clear up my sinuses as well. So I follow that exact procedure, those nine, um, those nine treatment strokes with my small blade to help clear all that stuff out. Again, if, it's hard to really see with a diagram, but in that chat box, I threw in the last video, and it shows more of a nine-minute treatment. It shows those strokes and shows a little bit of, massage as well but how you can do it to your patient or do it to yourself as well so with this if i'm treating myself out and i have a i have really hard time with my sinuses and i feel like they're really blocked off i'll do about three or four per week there's no negative side effects as we're not injecting anything into the skin and we're not breaking the skin as well we're improving blood flow now one thing we do want to say is that you may have a little bit of um, just muscle soreness, just like you worked out after the first couple of treatments. If your patient does experience any kind of soreness or even just to their skin and sort of touch, I would wait a couple of days until you do your next treatment. For myself, I'll do three or four times a week. If I'm experiencing really um, congested sinuses, I may be even do up to twice a day just to help clear my sinuses. Now, my I feel like my skin is very, very clear. So my whole goal with this type of treatment is more for is more for the anatomical and sinuses versus just versus just the more skin tightening. So if you do have any questions, feel free to throw them in the box. I'll answer them for either over the webinar. Again, if we do have a recording, it will be sent out within three to four hours directly from ClickMeeting. 
Um, if you need to reach out to Lynette directly, you can email her always at lynette at mdblade.com and she can answer all your questions that you need. So I don't see any further questions coming up. If there is something that you thought about after this, um, always feel free to, you can always email our team. It's lyneth at entityblade.com. Again, I wanna thank you guys for joining us today. It is the first time we talk about this webinar. We do run, if you're, I know there's a couple of registrants here from Aegis. We run this course typically monthly basis in Manila, Singapore, and Bangkok. We're bringing it, um, Angela is one of our um, educators from Manila. She lives in Hamilton, Ontario now. She's actually running our, I believe it's a Burlington course, which is about half hour outside of Toronto. She's running that next month, which is going to be a really cool course. I'll be there myself actually attending and assisting Angela with that course as well. So we thank you guys for jumping on this webinar today. I know it's about 9.30 Eastern um, time zone right now, but it's clinics, they're busy. There's lots of stuff going on. We run new webinars every couple weeks. So we actually were running our next one on K9 on Friday. If there's something that you guys want to see that we have not touched about, always shoot us an uh, email. Email Lynette at, Lynette at mcdblade.com and she can put that together. Because again, if you want to see it, there's probably a lot of other people that want to see that information as well. Again, thank you for joining us today. Make sure to jump on that link. You can still click on the very top or the chat box. It's um, The coupon code is FACE. Put it at checkout and it knocks off 10%, and that's in Canadian. Have a great day today, guys. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear back from you. Thank you.